when our story begins, the army of Israel has been challenged by the army of the Philistines. It is a time of war. The Philistines were terrible people who hated anything nice, like art or poetry or music, and they had no taste. For breakfast, they had a glass of grease. For lunch, a bowl of grease. And for dinner, a dish of grease. And if they were greasy, that was no coincidence. And their champion, Goliath, was every inch a Philistine. All 144 inches of him. That's nine and a half feet tall, and that's a giant. When I get my hands on a good book, I just can't put it down. Here's a classic. Watch me tear right through it. <laughs> Bring me my Stradivarius. Here it is. I want to play with it. <laughs> I also hate art. Look at this Rembrandt von Rien, huh? <laughs> Bring me a Vermeer and that Van Gogh I ripped up yesterday. I'm not finished with him. <laughs> Well, enough office work. It's time to go out and taunt the children of Israel. And every day, twice a day, Goliath taunted the children of Israel. Hey, you guys over there. You want to learn the truth about yourselves? All right. You'd rather twitch than fight. <laughs> Give me some men who are stout-hearted men because all I see are a bunch of chickens in front of me. Chicky, chicky, chicky. Ha, <laughs> ha, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> You can't take it, huh? Well, there's more where that came from. You think you're strong, huh? Well, I've seen bigger muscles in a fish store. <laughs> What's more, your mother wears army sandals. <laughs> and your father wears a girdle. <laughs> Look at you over there, the hoo-hoo with the ha-ha on your head. <laughs> Which she wants to fight. Come on. Come on, let's make a sport of it. Yeah, and yeah. no one came forward to fight Goliath. No one in his right mind would. Goliath was a monster. And now, for a change of pace, we shift our scene to David, the young shepherd, high on a lonely hill. David was exactly the opposite from Goliath. He was everything you wanted in a person. He was handsome, he was gifted, and he was a lovely singer. Enough of this interlude. I must go and visit my brothers at the front. And I will bring them some lovely cheese. Look here. Here's some camembert. Hmm? And some, oh, what is this? This is some brie. It's the top there. And some splendid tilsit. And here's some wonderful well water. Oh, makes me feel like a great big bear. And now off to the front. And when he got there, Goliath was still mouthing off, just as he had been for 40 days. As an army, you ought to go far, soon, and I hope you stay there. <laughs> Take my life, please. <laughs> you guys are one for the books. The books are dumbbells. <laughs> That's terrible. That's the worst I've ever heard. Something's got to be done about this. Oh, so David went to his commander-in-chief, King Saul. Oh, I can't make any better move my flank here, and no, all. I'm still confronting Goliath. His one-liners are destroying my lines. Oh, this is just terrible. This Goliath business has got me down. I've got the three Ds. There's three. I'm disheartened, dismayed, and depressed. Wait a minute. I got two H's. High hopes. Ah, uh, does a shepherd with two H's beat a king with three D's? Yes. Cheer up, King Saul. I'm going to challenge Goliath. You? Why, his armor alone weighs twice as much as you do. What makes you think you can go out there and face a giant like Goliath and live to keep your place in history? I see great things coming up for you, so why come a cropper with a creep like Goliath? If I come a cropper, that'll be my share. I'll be a sharecropper. But I don't think I will, because our God is on my side. Well, if you put it that way, go ahead. But, take my armor, please. Oh, no thank you. It's too baroque. 
Anyway, I've got my sling and five smooth stones. My motto is, less is more. And so David the Esthete met Goliath the Philistine on the field of battle. <laughs> you guys are so short, you put your feet in your pockets and walk on your hands. <laughs> you guys are so weak, it takes two of you to breathe. I've come to challenge you, Goliath. Who are you? Down here, Goliath. You, you, you're going to challenge me? <laughs> That's the funniest thing I ever heard. <laughs> You're so little. <laughs> Get up and fight like a man. <laughs> sure, little flea. But I'm warning you right now. I'm going to make bird food and cat meat out of you. Where's your weapon? I have a leather sling and five stones, and one of them has your name on it. Oh, yeah? Let me have it. What did you say? I said, let me have it. Okay. You asked for it. Oh. Oh, wow. Oh. Oh. Does anyone have an aspirin? Ooh. And that is the story of how David rocked Goliath to sleep. And after Goliath was dead, David sang. Most sweet and clear.